Okay, so right there, we've got a little toad. And, well, this is a good time to start talking about the difference between frogs and toads. If you check out this guy's skin, it's dry and it's rather bumpy, right? Look at this. Frogs actually have wet, moist skin with no warts. See that dry skin? Look at all those little bumps. And then look at those two large bumps behind the eyes. Those are paratoid glands. That's where the toxin is that they use as a defense, okay? And it's basically a neurotoxin. If you bite them, it squeezes poison out through all these pores. And it's a white, waxy, greasy substance. And, uh, well, it tastes horrible, um, can cause bad tasting and burning, and sometimes, in some animals, it can even result in death. But that's not the differences I want to focus on. main difference I want to focus on are all those bumps. Now, toads often walk along the landscape, whereas frogs generally hop everywhere, okay? Also, frogs are usually found near water, whereas toads can venture out quite a distance from the water. They usually only come back to water to uh, breed and reproduce. Uh, frogs generally need water in their lifestyle. Uh, but look at all those bumps on the skin, all those tiny little warts. Are they really warts? Well, they call them warts, but no, they're not warts. Um, so, very common misconception. You don't get warts from touching a toad, okay? Uh, they're not contagious at all, and they're not actually warts. They're just little formations on the skin, just like alligators have bumps and stuff and osteoderms and things on their skin. Osteoderms are actually little fragments of bone found in each. That's a whole different story. Those are on alligators. And uh, also, if a toad pees on you, that doesn't give you warts either. It's just used to surprise you. It makes them lighter so they can retreat quicker. Tastes funny if it's in your mouth and gives them an extra second to perhaps retreat. So let's hopefully find some more toads and frogs and start comparing them. That's an American toad from the looks of it. And uh, they're really cute. Their singing is awesome. They sing for about 30 seconds at a time, stop, start up again, beautiful warm trilling sound. I love it. Let's get back to what we were doing. Do you want pictures of them? So how many toad species are in Pennsylvania? Because when I see them, they always look like this one. Um, that's a good question. I actually, let me see, we have the American toad, we have the Fowler's toad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we might have the um, Spadefoot toad. Sometimes we have the Woodhouse toad. The ones I usually just, pretty much the ones I only ever find mm -hmm. are the American toads and the Fowler's toads. It's kind of tricky to tell the difference with some of the others. You actually look at the, the number of warts and things like that. There's several different ways, which I'll include in either this video or another video. Mm -hmm. But uh, usually in our area, we have two species. Okay. So, and there are other species in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. I think there's other species in Pennsylvania that I'm not entirely sure of, like Western Pennsylvania and stuff. Toads are awesome though, aren't they? Yeah, they're really cute. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> now, toad eggs are also really different from frog eggs. It's a long string of pearls formation rather than a big clump of eggs like in frogs and salamanders. It's just this long string filled with thousands of eggs. They can have up to 30,000 eggs, you know, in one go. Wow. Yeah, they're very, very, very dry or compact when they come out and they have this protein that soaks up hundreds of times its own weight in water, mm -hmm. which is with all amphibian eggs, and then they expand and take up that huge amount of space, uh, which is pretty cool. Be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you gotta click the bell icon, because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out.